Today, I've got five don't forget marketing pro tips for you. The first is concision. Bacon was the best ever email subject line I used in my entire career, uh, had the best open rate. And the reason was concision. Um, it was the most successful because it was the shortest subject line that we estimated most of our members and, and recipients would ever receive because most of them would get 40, 50, 60 character subject lines. So we knew that by uh, jumping on that, by betting big on a small subject, that we would get their attention. And we used the word bacon because it was to do with breakfast. And frankly, um, you never get an email with the subject line bacon. And so it really stood out. And ultimately, that's what I think you've got to do, especially when it comes to email. But regardless of the channel or the size of the audience, you've got to know your customer well enough to know what will get the right reaction. And we knew uh, that Bacon would win, and it did. And if you send an email newsletter or however you use social, how could you play with the words? How could you play with the subject line in an email to drive the open rate? The second tip I want to talk about today, the second pro tip, is emotion. When it comes to your marketing, we believe that people do better than machines, computers, or algorithms. And that's because, as Frank Zappa once said, uh, a computer can tell you a story, but it can't tell you the whole story. It just doesn't have the eyebrows. The bottom line is, if people buy from people, if people buy what you do, not um, why you do it, sorry, it's the wrong way around. If people buy why you do it, not what you do, then emotion is king, and machines don't have emotions, but you do. So how could you make your business more emotionally impactful for your prospects? The third pro tip is heart. We know that we have to position heart at the core of our marketing to make it successful, without which marketing will die. Um, you have to love what you do so much that the love itself infects your marketplace, that your love actually drives the love of others towards you. The most committed and passionate provider adds huge value. Someone who is less committed and doesn't care could rarely match that. So how can you demonstrate further your passion and commitment to your market? The fifth pro tip that I want to talk about today is story. Uh, at Tetfu, we're always banging on about the importance of the journey. But what is it about your marketing that makes it remarkable and helps outposition you against any competition? Well, the answer is story. Ultimately, your customer journey, your business journey, your product, your service journey all need to be in perfect sync. Ultimately, uh, when created correctly, when they are in perfect harmony, you can and will outposition your competition effortlessly. Every story has a beginning, a middle and an end and also takes your customer on three stages before they work with you, when they're working with you, during that process and after they work with you. So before they're in pain, after they're in paradise, it's the process in the middle that gets them there and that's what they want the confidence in. The fifth and final pro tip to share with you today is around no. The thing we love most about the Tetfu brand, and you can see it here, is the Fu, the F-U. And we asked uh, in our quiz on email, what are the two most important letters in marketing? And it's not F-U. Um, it is no, N-O. And the reason for that is that, like most businesses, most of us only close and bring on board as new customers a certain percentage of people we meet and speak to in its entirety. Um, very few people I know will close more than 50% of potential customers that come to their website, that look at an email, that they meet at an event, that call them randomly, whatever it is, that send them an email. So if more people say no, why do we obsess with yes? Marketing is about enabling people to say no and leave your marketing funnel, costing you as little time and money uh, and as little effort as possible, thus reducing your cost of sales. This prevents them wasting their time too. They don't want to be wasting time exploring and talking with you. Um, and it prevents you wasting time on pitches, emails, meetings, etc. So how could you make it easier for people to say no to you? How could you make it easier for people to say no to you? So five pro, five don't forget marketing pro tips for you today. Concision, emotion, heart, story, and no. Have a good day.